Hello, and welcome to the Bijan Bowen YouTube channel. I'm your host, Bijan Bowen. <laughs> Today, we're going to be taking a look at something extremely cool. This is real-time music generation released completely open source under an Apache 2.0 license by Google DeepMind. This is called Magenta RT, and basically from what we can see right here in the GitHub repository, this is streaming music generation. Now, there is a blog post with a little more intricate information and some pretty graphics and things like that, but I would say the most important thing to note about this is it will actually generate music in real time, and you can go ahead and kind of change the different features, if you will, of the generated music as it is actually being generated with sliders and things like that. Now, something that some may consider to be a limitation of this is that it can only reference up to the previous 10 seconds of generated audio. So stylistically, it wouldn't be able to kind of reference earlier generated audio to kind of maintain tonal consistency with that, I suppose, if you want to put it a little more scientifically. But aside from that, this is really quite fascinating and very exciting. Now, I have seen the feedback as this was actually announced on the local llama subreddit by an employee of Google DeepMind, I believe. And a lot of folks were like, hey, I'm a DJ. This is really going to be quite cool because you can consistently keep music going because this generates music at a factor above real time. So a real time factor of 1.6. So basically what that means is two seconds of audio are generated in 1.25 seconds. So giving a real time factor of 1.6. This is just really awesome. And that gets me into something that is a little frustrating for me personally about it. And again, this may be a quote unquote skill issue, but I unfortunately was not able to get this working locally. I truthfully didn't try the collab notebook running locally because I'm not a huge fan of notebooks, but I tried kind of just modifying some of the scripts and things from the GitHub repository to run it locally. And it did work, but it ended up trying to allocate like 32 gigs of VRAM. So it would just out of memory every time. So I am unsure if it was user error or perhaps just this requires a little more horsepower to run currently, but it was a little kind of deceiving here seeing that it is an 800 million parameter autoregressive transformer model however i do believe there are some other components to it as well that kind of enable these understandings of these text embeddings and things like that so if we hop over to the actual hugging face repository right here we can see that there are a few different components of this system there is number one spectro stream which is a discrete audio codec that converts stereo auto onto tokens building on this codec okay there is two music coca or my pronunciation there is probably bad, but a contrastive trained model capable of embedding audio and text into a common embedding space building upon these things. And then three, an encoder decoder transformer LLM generating audio tokens, giving context audio tokens and a tokenized embedding building on the music LLM method. So from my understanding, these just kind of help it take like if I stylistically instruct it to make like salsa then it could kind of go ahead and do that thanks to some of these components and that kind of jumps into what I was saying about being unable to run this locally where it tried to allocate 32 gigs of VRAM and then out of memory they do say right now it currently will run on free collab TPUs and hopefully in the future they will have some things for local inference which I am extremely excited for with that there is a bit more information right here and they talk about how this can be used for like DJ style things and things like that. And then some of the known limitations here can perhaps be kind of uh, entertaining depending on one's um, level of maturity where you can generate non-lexical vocalizations and humming. It is not conditioned on lyrics and is unlikely to generate actual words. However, <laughs> there remains some risk of generating explicit or culturally insensitive lyrical content. So with that, since I won't be able to do a kind of local install and setup guide in this video, we are just going to hop over to the collab demo and just kind of play through this so we can actually get a feel for this and see it. I do have a very beefy speaker right here, so we'll be able to play with some of these outputs, and I'm just kind of excited. Now, I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to run through as much as I just might fast forward till it's actually working and begin to play with it as I find it could be potentially somewhat entertaining. But I will for now just go ahead and at least begin, okay, I have connected the free TPU instance that will allow me to play with this. If we scroll down, we can see that step one is the one-time setup. All right, the model has been initialized. It took a little over four minutes. Now our next step is step two, which is to go ahead and stream music generation. 
all I'm going to do is just press run right here and hopefully all right well the speakers hooked up <laughs> I am quite excited let's go ahead and not mess with any of the sampling options but we will play with these prompts That's that scared the it scared me. All right, so this is full synthwave, no flamenco. Let's change that. Now remember, it'll take about two seconds, I think, for the changes to reflect. Oh, <laughs> oh this would really for okay. So so first impressions. I don't know if you can hear me. Sorry. For a DJ or something, this would be kick-ass. Now, I just brought that all the way to two. So, obviously, the transition was rather abrupt. But imagine, like, fading these things in and out. All right. Let's, uh, okay. Here's what we're going to do. Now, truthfully, I don't talk about this on the channel ever. But I am quite musically talented. And in addition to that, I am also quite lyrically talented. So, it is possible that Bijan may find himself a little um, brought back to the past here. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with the piano. Oh, don't tell me these are set. Okay, good. So we're going to start off with mostly seductive, a little bit of piano, and a little bit of R&B. I'm not going to get scared this time. <laughs> Ooh, all right, all right. Now let's max the seductive slider. Okay. Ooh. Hey, girl. How you been? Okay. <laughs> so this is like the... <laughs> it's like the... It, well, at least momentarily it sounded like a... Like fitting there. Let's just do... Okay. Ooh. This is really good. And the fact that you can like, so let's just max the piano and then in two seconds we should get some keys. Ooh, that transition was unreal. All right. Hello and welcome to the Bijan Bowen YouTube channel. I'm your host, Bijan Bowen. <laughs> I, I could I could probably spend more time playing with this than than my camera will allow me to. All right, let's go full piano. You know, I wonder if this could just do backtracks, like for a guitar. So let's just do drum, and then we'll also do bass, but we won't do guitar. Someone get this on a local machine for me and I will buy it from you. <laughs> All right, it's kind of like, <clears throat> kind of freaked out a little, but I love this. Seriously, this is like, this is fantastic. 
I understand it may seem somewhat confusing, but just the way I'm able to actually use this as a practice tool for playing an instrument is like uncontested, I suppose one could say. I don't know if that's the correct terminology, but let's play with this some more. <laughs> Ooh. I just came to let you know Ooh. <laughs> I started backtracking That's what they mean about the uh, <laughs> I can't like <laughs> I can sit all night And I could play with this This is So they had the blog post here That's where they talked about down here in this section Where no limitations It's it can do non-lexical vocalizations and humming, which is what we just kind of saw there. That was good, though, because I put song there, so that definitely probably drove it more towards the... All right, let's change love song to computer song. And then it will, like... Ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Stack and V Ram, let them know. Watching Bijan B on the YouTube, ooh, for show. Yeah, I can flow and I let them know. Just freestyling off the dome and I think that I'm home and I'm chilling. Making this Google Music, bro. <laughs> I love this. I love this. <laughs> I have an idea and it is somewhat related to computers. Okay, so we're going to have three separate prompts. Eh, you might think that's a, an apple, like the, the food. And then, so we have three prompts right here. We have Linux, Mac, and PC. <laughs> we're going to start with just some Linux, and then we'll kind of see how these change. Okay. That felt historically significant in some way that likely will elude me for the duration of my lifespan. <laughs> well, that word did also mean happy. So, all right, let's do... Uh... All right, these are things that would just not normally be associated with instrumental... Oh, all right, yep, I can see that. <laughs> it's like West, Western sounding. All right, all right, I'm, I'm going to done. I'm done with this. Um, um, okay, so step three is understanding what is happening behind the hood, which would also probably be something some folks would be wondering about me after seeing my behavior in this video, but um, <laughs> it's just more programmatic explanations of this model. It is really cool. I'm not going to go through these things because this video is probably going to have been too long, and I am probably going to continue playing with this following the conclusion of this recording. Um, with that, this is unbelievably cool. And I understand some folks may be like, well, it's not that good. I, I don't want to hear it because <laughs> this is, as a tool, it's awesome. Imagine putting this in a video game just as like procedurally generated video game music that's not likely to sound the same ever. You can have the 
prompts be triggered by like different scenes in the video game or something like that so it's just the possibilities here are quite a lot in addition to that it does seem like it has some level of ability to adhere to specific scales and things of that sort um i didn't see anything here for like bpm and stuff like that but that's really that's okay all right so that is going to wrap up this video on magenta real time Again, open weights, live music model. This thing is awesome. And I am really quite looking forward to options for local inference and personal fine tuning that will be soon to follow. In addition to the actual technical report, which is not actually out as of the recording time of this video, which is always good because then I don't have to pretend to go through it and be like, oh, quite interesting. So with that, that is going to wrap this up. I would highly, highly recommend playing with this if you're interested in this sort of thing, as you can just hop into a Google Collab notebook with a free instance and go ahead and actually play with it. So regardless of what local hardware you have and things like that, you can get some hands-on playing with this, and it could likely be rather fun, depending on what you want to do with it. So with that, that is going to wrap up today's very entertaining for me video. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and thanks for watching.